Hi everybody, welcome to the live. This is a night where I'm supposed to be watercoloring. I can't even see out of my glasses. Oh my God, I've got to clean those glasses. Let me pull up the chat on my iPad so that I can see it. I've had a bit of a rough afternoon here. I wasn't even going to go live because I'm so pissed off at my landlord. <sighs> yeah. All right. YouTube. YouTube. Concentrate, Rebecca. Concentrate. All right. Now I will clean my glasses so that you guys, so I can see what you guys are saying. <laughs> I can't read it. I forgot to take the light pad off the table. Oh, well. It's been that kind of a day. I can see Chaotic is here and Mickey and Jen. Hi, Jen. Jen, I know there's a meeting at 7 o'clock, but I, I'll just watch the replay. Um, people probably better off without me in that meeting anyway. So... Um, Hi, Chaotic. She says, howdy, Rebecca and all. I'm actually making it on time. Uh, hunker down. Diamond painting with a fan on me trying to stay cool in this heat. Nice. Mickey says, hello, peoples. Hope y'all had a good day, night, whatever. Going to feed the fur babies now. Be right back. Okay, she's not even here. She's feeding the cats. Okay. <laughs> hi, Marty. Hi, Yvonne. Uh, hi, Jessica. Yeah, so... Just long story short, this guy knocks on my door at seven o'clock this morning. You know, my landlord doesn't even give me the courtesy of a phone call. I've been texting her since last week when this tree fell on the house. And I keep text oh, I texting her on the weekend, texting her on Monday. You know, when are you gonna get somebody out here? When are you gonna get somebody out here? Never get a response, don't get a response. So now the guy shows up at seven o'clock in the damn morning. So, uh, and he just, he just wants to look at the trees. So I show him the trees. He sees all the trees in the backyard and he's like, these trees are way overgrown. They need to be cut back. They're, it's the same thing's going to happen. More tree branches are going to land on your house. So he goes and he tells her and he comes back this evening to do the work. And she, uh, she told him, no, just get the tree off the house. Don't do any of the other work. So... What? Anyway. So I said to her, why, why won't you do the right thing? The right thing would be to pay this man to take the rest of these trees down so that they don't fall on the house. She goes, no, nope, I'm going to wait till they fall on the house and then I'll make an insurance claim. Yeah. So... She, she's on my last nerve, on my last nerve. So we had a big fight and of course I threatened to move out and she threatened to evict me and we went back and forth for a while. So she's got me over a barrel. She knows I have no place to go, you know. So I have to stay here in this slum of a house that, you know, she won't put any money into. She has to wait till something happens so she can make an insurance claim so she doesn't have to put money into the house. I need to do something to get my mind off this because I'm really pissed off. Can you tell? Okay, so <laughs> the flower that I want to paint tonight is this one. It's out, I don't know if you can see. It's, oh gosh, it's really hard to see. This is out of, um, oh gosh. This is out of Dawn's Garden. It's really difficult to see, but there's these really weird, like, purple lines that run through this flower. Can y'all see that? I'm calling this, like, a cartoon flower. It doesn't even look real. It looks like it's 2D, two-dimensional, and not three-dimensional. Anyway. Oh, and she left my dog out. Hold on. Now the dog wants in. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I am looking at this picture and these flowers literally look like they're like it's a cartoon. They don't even look real, <laughs> these flowers. But I'm going to try to paint them. So I've mixed up some lavenders. I don't know 
if I've got the right color lavender, but we're gonna go for it, right? This may be a bit darker than what I had in mind. We'll try something really light first. Actually, I just kind of want to go with some water first. Really interesting looking flower though. Maybe when Dawn comes in, she can tell us what kind of flower this is. So I just want to get it wet. And then we'll bring in some more color. Then I will have to wait till it dries to add the lines to it. So if I'm not real talkative today, you'll know why. Because, you know... My negative voice is telling me, it's, you know, that I don't deserve anything better than a slummy house, you know. So, it's my fault for not being able to afford something nicer. This is all I can afford. So, that's just the way it is. So, we're going to just drop in some stuff on the side where there's darker spots. This is a really interesting plant. Now in the middle is kind of a whitish. I should get my gouache out for this, for the middle, or just make it a yellow, like maybe a pale, pale yellow. It'd have to be really pale, much paler than that. Hi, Jerry, welcome. Hi, Dawn. Oh, it's a balloon flower. Dawn, I'm telling you, this picture does not look three-dimensional. It looks like a two-dimensional picture of a flower. <laughs> it's just weird. It's like, like a, I'm calling it a cartoon flower. So I'm just going to go kind of, it really should be white in here, but I'm going to just kind of make it yellowish. So I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm doing. Yeah, you can. And then I want to bring in some of the, I'm going to let this dry, and then I'm going to bring in some of the darker colors. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and make some other, hi, Kaden, welcome. Hi, Robert. How's your new job? Jessica says, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Lots of insurance claims will be worse in the long run. Mm, yeah, I know. A balloon flower. Okay. Kaden ordered five of the anniversary paintings. Oh, you did a thing, Kaden. Huh. Jen says she's got balloon garden, balloon flowers in her garden. Okay, I'm just looking at the stem. Let's see what we got going for a stem here. I kind of want to go... This is sort of the upper flower. I want to put some more flowers in, though. Before I go with the stem. Maybe... At least two, right? Two flowers. Let's do two flowers. Well, this flower's terrible. <laughs> but it's it's kind of it's not top down, it's just sort of on its side here. Get some more water before this dries up.
it back to the yellow. Oh, you haven't heard from your job. Oh, okay. Thought you started it already. Okay, green. Got green going on over here. And there's a stem here. And there's actually, I want to do this bud that's up here. There's a bud up there. I know I'm talking to myself. It's okay. We'll do a stem down here. Then there's a bud over here. We'll do that one. And there's a leaf right there. There's a bunch of leaves down here. This is all leaves down here. They all seem to be facing downward. Some bigger ones. And there's there's actually a stem that comes up here that goes out of the picture frame. And there's a big leaf right there. This is a pretty cool looking flower. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna draw these buds. Oh, the buds are green green and yellow. Okay, so that won't be too hard. So they're just kind of shaped like this. Then in the center they have like some yellow going on there. So those are the buds. I need more yellow. Maybe this color would be cool. I have to wait till it dries. You have a job, so you can buy whatever you want. That's right, Caden. Until the money runs out. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So I want to do these, like, veins that are running through this painting. Maybe with a small brush. No, oh, no, this is small enough. Hopefully. Nope. Okay, that's all right. They just kind of go like every which way. It's just weird, like varicose veins, you know.
just weird looking. Yeah. Jessica wishes she could buy whatever you want. I wish I could buy whatever I want. Kaden, don't forget, it's always nice to save money. You never know when you're going to need it. This is, I don't know if I got these the right color, but I think it's a fair representation of, of this plant. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, you can't see them up close, but that's all right. Thank you, Dawn. So I could actually take some of this. I need something darker here. And just kind of put a little definition into the into the leaves. So oh, there's the the buds and the leaves. So I have another piece of paper here. I'm gonna try a different flower. This one kind of got splattered, but you know what? I don't care. It's a flower. It doesn't matter. Let's see. It's just gonna blend into the flower. The other ones I really liked were these here. They are freaking amazing oh my god i don't what kind of what kind are they don i know you know what kind they are where is my angle brush there it is all right we need some of this orange oh i probably should should have got it wet first, but that's all right. I'll use a different brush to get it wet. just dip some of this in so we can start getting the ends colored. Now I don't, I want to avoid the center. Didn't brush my <laughs> that didn't work out too well but we'll just blend it in too much orange on my brush that's okay Now, I'm actually going to come in and make some of this much darker, and the center is really dark. Dark, dark purple, which is what I have here. But let me look at the bottom flower, too. Let me go do that.
Black Eyed Susans. All right. They're not weeds, so I don't recognize them. Of course, by the time I paint them, you, you never know what you're going to get. Right now we got to get a darker color, dark, dark, dark. Let's see. Let me add some of this in. Sorry, I'm not real talkative today. I just, I'm in a mood. <laughs> Sorry. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the trial. I finally started today. It's a tough trial to sit through. The testimony was, I mean, I'm going to describe it tomorrow, but it was, it was tough. Very tough. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. All right, here we go. What I'll do after this, I'll, I'll let these dry before I start the center. This has to come all the way in to the center. So what I'm going to do is make that dark center here and here once it dries a little bit. Oh, brown-eyed Susans. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, black eye, brown eye. Um, yeah, what color am I going to make them? Good question. Their leaf is kind of like a long stringy sort of a leaf. Let's take a look at the leaf. Shall we? Oh, I put this brush down. Let me get this out of here. All right, we need like a sap gray, I think, or sap green. I have sap green. I do. I do, I do. Don't forget to, uh, if you're inclined, give me a thumbs up tonight. <laughs> yep. After this, I'm going to be going in my room and playing a video game. Something mindless. I've already done three sections of my painting today. I did that this morning while I was listening to the trial. Yep.
I don't know if you guys can see the palette. This is the kind of green I was going for here versus this sort of, let me show you, like this Kelly green that's over here that I used in the last plant. I want to use this set. It's called Sap Green. to do the leaves. It had really big leaves on this plant. Some of them just kind of long and thin. So we'll wait till we need the darker color. Yep. So what's everybody else up to besides me fighting with my landlord? <laughs> These actually turned out pretty cool. They they do look kind of like that initial flower. That's pretty neat. She sent me, I think, about 12 pictures, 16 pictures. So I've got plenty more to paint another time. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen pictures. Um I'll show you some of the other ones I want to do eventually. I don't know what the heck this is. I don't know what any of them are, to be honest with you. But look how beautiful that one is. I'm going to need some, like, fluorescent pink paint for that. But that's gorgeous. Um, what else? Look at just this composition here with the butterfly in it. Oh my God. How did you take these beautiful photos? They're gorgeous. I cannot believe you caught the butterfly in that one. I need to put a butterfly in. What? Yes, you do. Oh my gosh. You need a butterfly. Butterfly. Oh, it's a very dark butterfly. Let's go with a dark here. Oh, you know what? I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I'm just going to go in with some water first. Okay. Oh, we got some on the page already anyway. Let's do it like that. Down. Down. And then this body of the butterfly here. And then the back of the butterfly is kind of like right in there butts up to this plant here now we can put some of that dark in there put some in the middle put some on the wings Then we need some like just really pretty blue. Maybe this blue here. Oh, I should have done the black flower first. Oops. Oh, well. Then I'm kind of got to go in here like that. Let some of that spread out. That's kind of cool. Oh, 
Okay, there's the butterfly. Butterflies, butterflies. That's a swallowtail butterfly. Not after I painted it, it's not. <laughs> it's just a plain old butterfly. <laughs> All right, what am I going to use for this dark flower here? The dark mi middle, the brown eyed Susan. Where did it go? Where is the brown eyed Susan? There it is. Okay, we need dark, 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 dark. Let me think. Huh. Maybe. All right, we're just gonna get this wet here. And we're going to maybe use some of the brown. It's going to have to be darker than that. Yeah. Not dark enough. Nope. Let's see. We can use it like a burnt umber. That might work. Oh, perfect. That should do it. Just gonna let it kind of spread out there. Let the water do its thing. They should even be darker than that, I think. Probably more lilac than brown, but that's not a bad color for it. Just, I need to make it a little darker. I'll come in when it dries, maybe, and see if we can. That orange goes all the way up to the, the stem, though. I don't know. I might be ruining them, <laughs> ruining them, guys. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. A swallowtail butterfly. I know I'm being very quiet. So tomorrow night I'll probably stream some more Zelda. Unless well yeah, probably probably some more Zelda. I'm gonna take just the tip of my brush and come in here. There's really not much in the way of definition on these leaves. They're just sort of plain, but I can put some in there. What you guys think? 
here's here's that <laughs> and that. I don't know if I I added in the butterfly. There you go. Oh, hold on. There we go. Not terrible. I mean, you know, <laughs> I could have done better. You got to be at least halfway through. Oh, I'm not halfway through. There is so there are hundreds of shrines in that game, Yvonne. I think I've done about nine of them, and that's it. I've gone, I've gotten underground. I've gone underground and done some of the underground stuff. Um, I'm getting better at killing the enemies. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not such a scaredy cat when it comes to the enemies. So, um, but you know, as you the more you play and the more you get used to the controls, it's it becomes easier. And the fact that they gave me, you know, because eventually, if I, I don't know if you're where you're at in the game, but they give you this um, thing that, will, like, when you jump off the cliffs, a paraglider. They give you a paraglider. So I have this paraglider so I can jump different places. Now I'm up on this, um, the side of this cave... And I've got this red hand that keeps reaching for me. <laughs> and when it gets me, I, it kills me. So I don't even know what to do with that part of the game. <laughs> so I, I've got to figure it out. But that's why I like that game, because there's a lot, thought, a lot of thought process to it, where you have to figure things out, which I enjoy. So last night I was playing the Diablo 4. That's a Blizzard game that came out. And uh, it's, you know, it's a lot of killing these monsters and skeletons and gathering loot and gold and upgrading your stuff. And, you know, it's typical <laughs> uh, mindless gameplay, but it's, it's fun. It's not, they're very, very different games, the two of them. So I'm not happy with this this flower here. I think I could have done it better, and I'd like to try to do it better another time. I pro I could, you know, if I did this stuff more often, I'd be better at it. <laughs> but I don't have like a designated place to do the watercolors. I have to clean it all up when I'm done, and then put it away and get the diamond painting out. Because diamond painting is what I do during the week, and then on the weekends I'm cross stitching. So. I don't spend enough time doing this craft, but I would, I love doing it. Thank you, Dawn. My doggies are barking. So, I still have to finish listening to the trial tonight. I uh, I did take a nap. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I took, cause that guy got me up at seven o'clock this morning, and literally I had, I don't know if Stitch knew we were gonna have company, but he woke me up at six thirty. Insisted that I wake up at six thirty. This cat, for no apparent reason. So. These colors are so pretty. Maybe I should do something over here. I don't want to ruin the painting. Those are kind of cool. Maybe I'll just start a different one. One of these sides is, okay, it's this one here. This paper comes in a block and it's glued on all four sides. So you have to kind of find where the little one inch area where it's not glued to get down to the next piece of paper. So that's that one. Let's see what else we can do. We got 20 minutes. Actually, we didn't worry. We got all the time in the world, don't we? I don't know about doing that pink one because it is so pink that I don't think I even have that color or could make that color. 
I don't know. Look, she's got a whole garden full of those that I just did down there. Whole garden full. This is an interesting one. I could maybe try that one. Lisa, don't worry about being late, my goodness. <laughs> um, late, early, whatever. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're here. We love having you. All right, let's just see if we can make this flower. It, this is a very symmetrical flower. It actually just has four leaves. It looks like it's got like this crisscross in the middle. really different looking okay so let's come in with some light light pink I think So that will get darker. I just like to let the paint seep into the water. It's a poppy, okay. <laughs> Who knew? Because <laughs> in here it's really dark. Let me see if I can replicate that, the, the darkness of that. I think I can with this color right here. Let's see. Literally, it just kind of goes like that. that to be darker but I'll probably have to wait till it dries that's actually not dark enough nope it's a pretty plant Let's see what we can do with those those are really interesting leaves Oh my goodness, okay. Let's see what we can do with these leaves. Put a, I'll come back and put a stem in that one. They have like this jagged edge, the leaf. I hope you've been feeling better, Lisa. All right. So we need to make this pinker. It's not pink enough. I know. That's what I always say. It's not pink enough. I want to make sure that it's pinker. It's 
It's getting there. It's kind of like that flower. <laughs> kind of. Oh my God, I lost the entire audience. There's only five people watching. Okay, I am. I must really suck today. Okay, I apologize, people. I apologize. Sorry. I know there's a, a, a retreat meeting going on and, you know, I've, I've lost, I've lost you guys. I, I, it's my fault. I just, not what people want to watch. I get it. I'll put yellow in the middle. We were dealing with rowdy kids. I know. And then at the end, I'm going to come in with a little brush to bring in that yellow. But I still need more purple, dark purple, as soon as it dries up a little bit, the plant. Enjoying seeing my painting. Well, five people are enjoying it. <laughs> That's good. That's lovely lovely I don't know if that's dry enough Those are the leaves. Do the little stem. Let's go back to the purple. See if we can make that a little brighter. You were just hauling your dog in the house. She's six pounds, but thinks she can take on the full size husky. Of course. Why not? Mom. <laughs> Say, Mom, I'm a big dog. I think I'm a big dog. This is just not dark enough here. This maybe it will be now that it's a little bit dry. Yeah. All right, that's the poppy. I need to put in some more yellows, but I'm gonna have to wait till the paint dries a little bit to do that. Mesmerizing to watch. Thank you, Chaotic. I appreciate your support. I appreciate it. So I'm gonna take this really teeny tiny brush and see if I can get some of that abstract, those little dots. I don't know. It's kind of hard. I probably need to wait till it's completely dry to do that. Yeah, that's not going to work when it's wet. Lisa says, I've got four doctor spots tomorrow and one of them is came. Oh my God, Lisa, that's a lot. Holy moly. So does that look anything? It's not pink enough. I know that, guys. It should be It should be pinker. Yeah? It needs to be pinker, doesn't it? It's, <laughs> I didn't match the pink at all. Nope. Nope. Didn't match the pink. But, um, you know, that's my poppy. Your flowers are so pretty. Can't wait until I can sit long enough to paint. I know. I know. Luckily... This stuff doesn't take long. Like if you could had 30 minutes, you could probably sit down and, you know, play around with it for a little while. Of course, it takes me 30 minutes just to set it all up. Well, not really. I'm just exaggerating. But um, anyway, quality, not quantity. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. I do appreciate it. So. 
So, um, that is the show for tonight, guys. Sorry, I'm in a mood. So, I will uh, see you tomorrow on Crafting and Crime Daily. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye.